you guys. Hey guys. So today we are gonna um video about how we do the long distance date night. Um basically well I'll let Nathan explain the first part. Okay. Basically, like, we plan out, like, in the day, what it is we want to do for date night. And then, just wait for the night time to come along, and then we do, like, what it is we plan. So it could be, like, watching films, or it could be, in our case, working on stories, or sometimes even spend date nights filming, filming YouTube videos, kind of like what we're doing now. Yeah, but, but um, the key is, guys, um, I, I found for us, it's easier having date nights on the weekends yeah. because of the five hour time difference. Video is going up. What I think it is going up. Yeah, it is. I'll be on my video to our longest. How we make the longest thing work. Um, and find the person because I don't know how to. The cards out the top. Hang on, just let me how to use iPhone video editor. But anyway, back on topic. Um, yeah, because you're kind of going a bit off topic there, babe. Come on. But how we make a long distance statement work is. Because we try it on Facebook, but it's just the wrong thing. Thank Pardon, sorry? If we try it on Facebook, or just your own Skype? I think we've just done it through Skype. I don't think we've had date night over Facebook before, have we? So... The key to I think night guys is thinking for that we both have internet and a guys not being stupid. Like earlier ten well, tonight but I today for me oh Tonight plan whatever. I was trying to download videos that we recorded and my computer wasn't having any of it. Yeah, so, yeah that's because the computer's just filled up with junk guys. Like it's seriously like she's still got Excel spreadsheets on her like sitting on her desktop of her computer that she needed for what for when she was doing a course that she was on. Which she's not doing that course anymore so she so she don't need the spreadsheet. So I don't know why she just don't get rid of them. Okay, but anyway <laughs> Sorry, I was just making a point. Back on topic. Um Okay. <laughs> so the key is to make for you have internet because speaking of internet his internet when we were first dating would go out all the time for two or three days. Yeah, in fact I remember like the first time that happened, right? She was sending me messages on Facebook. She was even sending me voice notes, like where she was on the verge of crying and 
Like, she was proper worried about me, weren't you, babe? Yeah, because I didn't know what was going on. Um, it hasn't happened to us in the last couple of months, thankfully. Oh, when it does, it just doesn't happen for very long. Yeah, but I think w- when it does happen, though, guys, I think um, Abby has realised now that when that does happen, she knows it's just that my internet's gone off for a couple of yeah. days or whatever, so she doesn't worry about me as much. Yeah. So the key to our long distance thing is internet. Um... Yeah. Because how we have things now in terms of what we do on date night, I can't just depend what we're feeling to do. Sometimes we might put out a date night and then he'll be like, do you think one of us will be there whatever? We all used to argue about what we would do for date night. And we would argue about it all night long, so we didn't end up having a date night. It was kind of stupid. Yeah, but sometimes we would spend our date nights just filming YouTube videos, like, like because I've started doing daily uploads again. So, like, if I start running out of scheduled videos and I haven't got any left to upload, I'll say to her, look up, I know we've said that we're, that we're going to watch a film or we're going to work on Nick, but any chance we can record some videos just so I've got more videos to kind of upload and schedule, like? Yeah, and sometimes, depending on how tired this one is over here, um... We will do two or three things in a date night. So, like, tonight we're doing videos and then we're going to watch a movie. Yeah. Yeah, Basically, we're going to record two videos tonight. Then we're going to watch Bad Moms. Um, but it's really important, guys, to have some sort of internet for the longest date night. Yeah, and before I forget as well, um, the way me and Abby watch films together is I'll either have the film on my computer or she'll put the film on, I don't know, she, she'll have the film on her iTunes account or something. And... What me and Abby do, the way me and Abby watch the films together, which I've noticed how, um, like, I've watched videos like this where people have given tips on long-distance dating and things, where the, where they don't screen share, they just press play at the exact same time as the um, other half has pressed the play button, so it's like they're watching um, the film it's exactly the same time, but me and Abby don't do that. Like, lo- lo- like we don't count down three, two, one, right? Press play. We, we, we basically we, what we do is we screen share, and then we um, and then we just chill out then and watch the film. Yep. Basically, which is what I would encourage anyone to do. You know, instead of like trying to work out the timing of of if you guys watching, watching your film at exactly the same time, it's easier just to do a screen share so then you're both yep. watching the video together. 
And like we always say, guys, it doesn't matter what we do. Yeah, as long as we're together. Yeah, and as long as we're both having fun. So that's just a little bit of how we do date night, guys. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long before you guys did that. Because there's a lot more details that we should get into. But so, why don't we then? Like, like why don't we just make it like a long video? Because, yeah, and that's the video about. Oh, yeah, true, yeah. And I thought you wanted to watch that long. Yeah, and plus, at the time of filming this, it is 1.37 in the morning. Yeah, for him. Yeah. Basically. Uh, yeah, so we will see you guys in the next video with Ruby Queen right now. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.